Someone said I should stop referring to me, myself, and others as trash. Never. One of the best things that ever happened to me, though, when it was happening, I did not like it. No one that was associated with me liked it, but it turned out to be a good thing. Something uh, that can change you from going in a bad direction, that can build you up, that can grow you. That's a good thing. No one likes correction. Uh, the Bible tells us that no one being disciplined at the time thinks it's a good thing. But me with my fall made me realize what kind of person I am and what kind of person I'm not. And what I recognized, what I knew uh, from that point going forward is that I'm not that great, not that good. The Bible says if any man thinks he stands, take heed lest he fall. I thought that I'm going to stand. There's nothing can defeat me. I'm this, I'm that. I can fix everything. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, Corey. And so when you're literally put in shackles and in chains and then put in a small cell and you have to deal with who you are, you can't come away thinking that you're great. Uh, the fact that you are locked up, the fact that you are having guards with guns around you tells you you're not that great. The fact that everybody has turned their back on you tells you you're not that great. Great people don't have folks turning back on them like that, but it's helpful. It helped me. And you have had something similar, maybe not prison, but you've had something. And just when I, have you ever just stopped and just looked up the word proud in the Bible, how it's used, how often it's used? I just want to just go through some of these words, some of these, especially the Proverbs, where God is talking about, do you think being proud is a bad thing or a good thing? Well, let's just look at a few. These are just kind of just, I don't have it, um, been picked out in any particular um, order or anything, but oh Lord, my heart is not proud nor my eyes haughty, nor do I involve myself in great matters or things too difficult for me. The proud have a hidden trap for me and cores. They have spread a net by the wayside. Not thinking very highly of being proud, right? Everyone, Proverbs 16, 5, everyone who is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. That should get your attention. It is better to be humble in spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the spoils with the proud. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of wick of the wicked is sin. Proud, haughty, scoffer are his names who acts with insolent people. The proud look of a man will be abased. Yeah, don't be proud. And I mean in two ways, proud outwardly to kind of give the appearance or the illusion that you think you're something, but more importantly, inwardly. If you think that you are something and you're not, you're going to find yourself in a whole, as they say in the South, a whole heap of trouble. Uh, I'm grateful for what he's done to me. And if I don't get it across enough, I'm not that good. Uh, I play with my wife. And <laughs> I mean, me need to convince her more, but I don't think highly of myself at all. And if anyone thinks he does, uh, Paul tells us not to think more highly of yourself than you ought to. Uh, you don't have any reason to think highly of yourself. Remember, you need a savior. And so uh, I want to always remind myself that it's God who saves me. Nothing about myself. And he's given me the experience to go through to see things so that I keep myself humble. Remember, when Paul is complaining about the thorn in the flesh, we don't have to worry about what the thorn in the flesh is. But Paul didn't like it. And he prayed to the Lord three times. And three times the Lord said, hush up. You're not getting. No, he didn't say it that way. But he says, my grace is sufficient. Paul says, I was given this thorn to keep me humble. That's Paul. And so when you get these things that happen to you in your life, to keep you humbled. It could be because God is going to do something great with you, uh, but or he's done enough so that you don't get too big headed. But it also shows us that he has a concern for you. If God has taken the time to humble you on this side of eternity while you're headed to heaven, that's a good thing. That's a father who loves his son or who loves his daughter. And so it's a good thing to recognize how lowly you are, right? Jesus says, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The poor in spirit, these are the humble people. These are those who don't think highly of themselves. That's where I want to be. That's where you want to be. Amen.